was so vicious And I don't have to show riches To pull up, pull off with some bad bitches And it ain't about chivalry It's about dope lyrics and delivery It's about my persona Ain't nothing like a man that can do what he wanna Ain't nothing like a man that you knew on the corner Seen come up and fuck up the owner Seen throw up Westside California Nigga I'm hot as Phoenix Arizona I'm Utah, I got multiple bitches It's a new law, keep a hold of your riches Dumb nigga don't spin it as soon as you get it And recognize I'm a captain, you a lieutenant What's up folks, it's Wix uh, man, is it fucking cold outside or what? Here on the West Coast, it's, uh, I went and looked at some of the air temperatures, and I looked at them for, the, like, the past week, and some of the air temperatures are, like, 60, 70 degree difference from morning to until night. I mean, talk about fucking pneumonia. Is that how they're trying to kill off the homeless population or something? But folks, you don't have that big of a temperature change. That's just not possible. Unless there's some fucking climate engineering going on. So, I'm doing a video on that coming up. And I don't know why, but for some reason, recently my freaking my right hand... And it's my mouse hand. It's been like just my fingertips, though. They get like ice cold. I don't know why, but like it's not because I was just outside or anything either. I mean, this has been going on for for days now, and now it's starting to fucking worry me and shit. Maybe it's an early sign of carpal tunnel or some shit. I don't know. <clears throat> but I came across this. I thought I would give some information out that I thought was vital for everyone to know. Unlike some fucking schmucks who like to hide knowledge from people, keep them stupid fucking morons. Uh, Alright, it, it's a short video. I just go through some of the major points with it though. It's a commonly held misconception that the Earth is a spherical object that revolves around the Sun. But the fact is, of course, that the Earth is a circular dish surrounded by a barrier of ice that explorers like Andrea Barnes have been attempting to penetrate for centuries. Okay. <coughs> Trying to penetrate for centuries, meaning for all that time, there's been somebody or something preventing them from doing it. Now. If you want to know my conception of what I think the Earth looks like, I will show you because there's all sorts of pictures and shit like that out there. And trust me, folks, I'm not a flat earther. I don't believe in some of the crazy fucking theories these people have. The argument, for all practical purposes, came to an end when the Church of England was established by law during the 16th century. Church of England established by law. They rejected many laws of the ancient Catholic Church and... They rejected many laws of the ancient Catholic Church. The ancient Catholic Church, of which was good. Of God. You know, not fucking raping little boys and shit. And all this Jesuit crap. To appear forward-thinking, they embraced many radical scientific notions prevalent at the time. So then, this shit comes around, and all of a sudden, you know, Copernicus with his fucking ball theory, and all of a sudden people start coming out with these radical fucking notions about the Earth and shit. You see how one person can make a fucking change here? Copernicus round Earth theory. With this endorsement, the theory found its way into the schools, which were then... Hello? I mean, you got this fucking scientist. He's looking for someone to fund him. He gets funded by a banker, a bankster, and he starts progressing on shit. And the next thing you know, largely they, yeah, it goes into fucking books, and then they put it into the schools. Do you see how this fucking works yet? 
controlled by the church. It has remained there to this day, and many children have accepted it without question. Yeah, he just said that back then the schools were controlled by the church. Hello? This isn't recent fucking news, people. If you imagine that this, this was the correct earth, you can imagine a plumb bob held here would point in that direction. A plumb bob held here would point in that direction. That means the buildings would be bigger on the top than at the bottom. Yeah. I don't yeah, know how many times I've seen videos of astronauts floating in space and all of a sudden you see a little bubble come out of their helmet and start floating up what the hell could do that is it one of those orb ufos or something oh i got it maybe he's underwater did you know that they actually test for fucking outer space and deep fucking pools? Well, look at some of the NASA videos they got. How many times do you see fucking astronauts with fucking water bubbles coming out of their helmets and shit? They've got an actual scuba tank on their fucking back. Yeah, folks, that's what the big fucking square thing is. It's a fucking scuba tank. It in all its resplendent beauty. You could find videos it all over the fucking turned. internet about that. And, photographs were and even fucking NASA astronauts admitting to it. You'll see how Neil Armstrong saying he fucking... The shit where he was doing this, he said it was all faked. With one fucking light and a fucking piece of paper in a hole. Folks need to, I think, I think it's just the fact that it's the topic, I think. Because if people who don't believe in the flat earth just looked at this stuff for even five minutes, they would, could prove to themselves that it is indeed flat. So they're either not watching it or they're very, 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 very stupid. I don't know. I know where to get classified documents online. Uh, I think I would know a little bit. Fucking lemmings. The lot of ya even go through all of the fucking facts about this because there's so fucking many of them why don't you people get on fucking line and type flat earth in and get some facts get some fucking non-facts look at different videos um be alive for 33 years and fucking have a brain and figure it out for yourself and fuck what anybody says because that's what I do with everything. I, same thing with Alex Jones. I don't give a fuck what people say. I will hear the story here. I'll hear it from you. 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 I'm not going to fucking... I don't care. I will take all of them and put them together and make up my own fucking mind on it. People can't seem to do that these days. But what they don't realize is, is that it's not the Earth that's curved. It's the light taking a curved path from the Earth. Oh, because I guess fucking people didn't know that light bends. Damn it. See, now I'm getting because fucking upset. The earth. I, don't, I, I gotta get off this. Folks... The fucking earth is flat, alright? It's flat on the bottom. And there's a fucking dome over it.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> you crazy mother. So uh, I just wanted to, I was just going to leave this at the end of the last video, but there's just too much detail to go into any of this. I mean, first of all, I want people to do me a big favor. Just go and type at this into Google, different shapes of Earth's surface. All right, and look at the images and just look at all the different conceptions they got of it. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Looks like a big dick. I mean, there's all sorts of crazy depictions of them. Now, I just wanted to tell you that to, I don't know, brace you. Just to have an open mind. Alright, look at pictures of the crust. Look at old pictures. Look at ev look at everything. Okay, I've done this for fucking years. All right, and this is I'm gonna tell you what I've come up with. Uh, how about the ancient Hebrews, man? This is what they say it looks like. And a lot of people worldwide agree with their texts. So take with that whatever you will. Um, it's an amazing deception of the mind, if this is indeed true, because in fact, none of us know what the Earth really looks like. We've, we haven't been out there. We haven't been in space. Folks, what you're looking at right here on the screen is your planet. I've done the research for you. And you're looking at home. Um, I have no dog in this fight. I just follow facts and wherever they take me is what you get. Um, if I'm wrong about anything ever, I, w I would hope that people would call me out on it and correct me. Um, but you know, 99.9% .9 of the time I don't put anything out or say anything unless I know it to be true so take with that whatever you will from it but I mean I don't knowingly and you know I don't knowingly fucking lie to people I mean I think deception of the mind is an incredible it's a crime against humanity man Show that is how God said the end days demons and weird creatures will be coming up out of the earth. If you keep this in mind, and if you read the Bible, it's not hard to figure out.
I guess uh, we find out when we get there. Because if in fact it is a domed planet, then people would say, well, that's like a prison planet. Well, not really. Not if God is trying to protect us. And this whole gravity shit, I don't believe in the gravity thing. I'm sorry, I just don't. Uh, I, would, I would say you're about as fucking crazy as someone who thinks that the Earth is, that the sun is 93 million miles away. I can tell you this for a fact. The Earth is at least, at least, 3,000 miles up in the sky. Period. <clears throat> Think of this. Think of if there was no gravity. At some point, I mean, it's just not possible, right? So we got gravity holding all this in. Well, imagine, if you will, the dome. Let's take this dome, and let's imagine it like it's a hand of God. All right? And what gravity really is, is the shit holding the fucking evil devils below the earth. And when God's, um, it's said in the Bible that God takes a fucking, a hard blow. He takes a fucking right to the chin, you know? And, uh, and that's when he's finally, he lets go. And fucking demons and shit start popping up out of the earth. If you've looked around the fucking planet recently, there's some awful weird shit popping up on beaches and all over cemeteries and you fucking name it. Folks don't go to NASA. They lie horribly. They lie and they're horrible at it. I don't, I, I can't even work with anything from NASA. It, there's just too much lying going on. Um, I've been told many times, and I've heard many times, that the only Earth that you see in any books, especially textbooks, it's the same Earth. It's just got, it's just in a different position. Like, they never take new images, you know. The only thing they do is they crop in and out the clouds. That's it. And if you look at some of these models, you can see that right away. Look at these two. The... The Earth is in the same position, just different cloud coverage. Uh, you could do that with all sorts of pictures. You know, same position, cloud coverage, and it's zoomed in, you know. That could be believable, especially since they want to keep this right here hidden. See, folks, all this here is cropped out. There's nothing there. It's not just empty space. It has nothing to do with the moon, the eclipse, no. That, look, do you see any fucking stars out here? Do you see any kind of space debris? This is fucking elementary school, man. The level of fakery, I mean. They blocked it out because they don't want to show the fucking bottom half. It's like a fucking half moon cookie. You gotta have another picture of it that's at least close on here. They gotta have a close picture of the real earth in here. I mean, I'm not going to lie, NASA's got some incredible photos, but where they're being taken from, uh, what they're of, 
is anybody's guess. What the hell is this? I mean, I don't... I believe this more than a fucking globe theory. If we're on a globe, how the hell is... Are we staying on the fucking planet? People would say gravity. Well, what, gravity just disappears when we get to space? Why? How come we could use different portals and NASA can use different portals and shit to get to outer space? So, there's something seriously, seriously not right about this. Especially when NASA has been caught time and time and time and time and time again in their fucking water pools saying that they're at the International Space Station or some fucking place in outer space and they're really in one of their testing pools. You can see the fucking bubbles coming up out of their helmet. So how do you know if what they're showing you is the fucking Earth or not? You don't know if they're in space or, or what. This is about the, the realest... I guess it's about the, the realest... Uh, not that, no. Yeah, go a little bit further with that and then it'll be it. But then there's still the shit underneath that they're not showing. I mean, folks, did I, did I show you? Let me show you again. Now look. Okay, there's shit under here. The pillars of earth. The foundation. Look, 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 folks. This is in the Bible. The firmament. The floodgates. Here's fucking heaven up here where God is. Above the firmament. The fuck? No, they're not in space. No. Have you ever been in a planetarium? Folks, this. Yeah, that's how fucking far the sun is from us. 93 million miles? You really believe that? No, the Earth is anywhere from 3,100 to, uh, I think, like, 10,000 or something. I forget what it was. I don't know. But folks, it's in the thousands. The low, low thousands. Like, 3,000 miles away. Period. Paragraph. End of story. I mean, I really can't. I'm desperately trying, and I just can't even get the words out. Folks, just go look up some flat earth stuff and come to your own conclusions. Listen to what everyone says, question everything, and make your own decision. Can you prove to me that we live on a globe? Yeah, I gotta prove what? NASA photos? You think I'm gonna fucking believe photos that Nazis took? God bless you, carry on.